Hi guys, it is Amanda here, um, Little Beach Panda, Chef Panda right now. And um, I haven't cooked anything for you guys in a while. I saw a recipe that my friend had made, shout out to Chrissy. Um, it looked really good and it looked really easy. Now I'm not a big pot pie person, but I like them, but my boyfriend is. And um, this was like a chicken pot pie recipe, but on top, you've got the red lobster cheddar bay biscuits. And I thought that, was, that sounded good. So um, it's a real easy recipe, like, uh, like some of my other videos at the very end of this. There will be um, a picture with all the ingredients and how much of each, so you can screenshot, you know, for your little grocery list. But um, it's simple, doesn't have a lot. Uh, this, chicken broth, cream of chicken. I'm gonna have to tear apart a rotisserie chicken. Um, uh, two cups of milk, a half a cup of butter, a frozen bag of peas and carrots, and I think that is all. So not even a lot of ingredients and fairly cheap. I think this bird right here was the most expensive thing. So the first thing, and then you have this. You gotta get your, your nine by 13 pan. And then I have my Starbuck. You know, that's important too, whenever you know you're, you gotta work quick. But anyway, so first thing I gotta do is tear this bird apart. So I'm gonna do that real quick, get my shredded chicken in a bowl and I'll be back. Something else you need to do, I just forgot is, preheat your oven to 350. 350. It's my cleaning stuff I've been cleaning before I cook. But yeah, put your oven at 350. Okay, so I got my chicken. I think I have enough. I got my half a cup of butter. I got it in a bowl. Got some paper towel on top of it. And I'm gonna melt it. And then whenever I melt it, this is the first thing that I put at the bottom of this dish. Oh, oven's ready. Half a cup of melted butter is the very first thing that you put at the bottom of your dish. So I'm gonna melt this and I'll be back. All right guys, first thing we're doing, we got our uh, half a cup of melted butter, pour it in there. That's not very much, but, and half a cup is four ounces, right? Am I tripping? I don't think so. All right, we got the butter on there. Then we take our chicken. We put our chicken on top of the butter. Oh, I think I did okay. I did the right amount. I could have had a little bit more chicken, but it's okay. Spread the chicken out. And I washed my hands, folks, so don't mouth me or judge me. <clears throat> okay, put the chicken on there. And we grab our peas and carrots out of the freezer. Should have already had these here. So we open those. Open the peas and carrots. Put them on top of the chicken. Just like that. Okay. Probably spread them out. Then after that, we are gonna move that to the side. We got our mixing bowl. We got our uh, Cheddar Bay Biscuit mix. Okay. We take that and we put that in there. And then, I'm not prepared. Watch out, buddy. You get your milk. Your milk and your measuring cups. And you measure. Two cups of milk with your, with your Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit mix, okay? One cup. Two cup. Sorry, I am a measurer. Be quiet. Two cups of milk. Stir that, okay. How's everybody doing today out there? It is Saturday, July 29th, 6.41 p.m. Stir this good, make sure there's no clumps. Anyways, let me stir this real quick, guys. 
and then we pour this on top of here. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now I got the biscuit mix stirred. We just put pour that on top. And remember, we don't mix anything, okay? We let uh, nature do its course. So you put that on top like that. Then over here, you take your cream of chicken soup, put that in a mixing bowl. We're gonna move that to the side. I'll show you this. Put this in a mixing bowl. And then your one and a half cup of chicken broth. Put that with your soup. One cup. Two cup. Oh, whoops, I was about to put too much. Hold on. Okay, one and a half cup. And then you mix that together. So it's looking like that. We want to make sure break it down and mix it. Let me mix it real good. And then we're going to pour it on top of the stuff. All right. Last but not least, we took our stirred up chicken broth and cream of chicken soup and we're pouring that on top. And remember, we don't mix up anything. So as of right now, it does not look the most appetizing but we're gonna bake it for 45 minutes and uh go from there okay folks i will be back in 45 minutes dolls focus this is 45 minutes it still needs to be golden and everything it's a little bit golden back there but it says after 45 minutes do it at 10 minute intervals until it is baked to your liking in the middle you can tell still see how that's a little moist you want to cook it all the way through so we're going to check it in 10 more minutes Guys, like a lot of my cooking fucking videos, I fucked up. I was supposed to put this mix with my Cheddar Bay Biscuit uh, stuff. So now it doesn't even have this in it. So, so I don't know, hopefully it'll still taste good. Okay, all right, I'll be back. All right guys, this is 10 minutes later. I'm gonna do it for 10 more minutes and see what's going on with it, okay? All right, does that look good or should I do two more minutes? That looks good right there, like that. All right, let's Here check it out. Go. Here we have it. My boyfriend's gonna be the first taste tester. He wants a bowl. <clears throat> See here. Okay, okay. Looks good. All right. I hope this is good. We'll see, we'll give him that first and let him taste test that. So you said it was okay? Yep. All right, guys. Okay, I made my own bowl right here. Let's see if we'll get it cover. I don't wanna burn myself though. He said right away, you got to make this again. So. It's really hot. I got to get some of the crust. Mm -hmm. The crust is really good. Yeah. Next time, I just cannot forget to put the packet in the biscuit seasoning. Do not forget when you put the two milks, two cups of milk in your Cheddar Bay Biscuit recipe stuff to mix it, make sure you add the packet, okay? Don't be like me. Luckily, it's still good without it because it's just like a biscuit. So it's just like a, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, whatever the hell I just made. What is this thing? Chicken pot pie. All right, guys. Um, if you make this, comment below and let me know how it went for you. Um, yeah, what do you give a baby out of 10? He gives it a 10 out of 10. So, yeah. As Tammy would tap. 
All right, guys, have a good night.